New Hampshire, you are a wild state. But you've got pirate folklore, so I gotta give it to you. We're taking a look at Ocean Born Mary for 50 States of Folklore. Mary Wallace was born in 1720 on a ship crossing from Britain to Boston. Mere days after her birth, the ship was invaded by pirates. But when the pirate captain heard Mary's newborn cry, he had a change of heart. He declared that all would be spared if the baby's mother would name her after his own mother. When Mary's mother agreed, the pirate captain gave her a bolt of green silk in hopes that Mary could wear it on her wedding day. His men withdrew. In a mostly true story like this, people see great folklore potential. So the yarn is easily spun and spun and spun until more of it is made up than true. It's hard to blame people for wanting Mary's life to live up to the first incredible days of her birth. No one wants their life to peak when they're a newborn, after all. But the truth of it is, Mary Wallace lived a mostly quiet life in Londonderry, New Hampshire. It is possible she wore green silk for her wedding. She was a tall redhead that would have looked amazing on her. And there are swatches of green silk from that era in several historical museums in New Hampshire. Mary raised two children of her own, and one of them moved to nearby Henniker to raise his family. It was future owners of that Henniker home who began to expand Mary's folklore. They told visitors of ghostly sightings of a tall redhead in colonial attire answering the door or resting in the rocking chair. They added to her history, claiming that the very same pirate captain of her namesake re-entered her life, and in some versions became her lover, which is not the direction I would go. Unfortunately, those fibs meant that the next owners of the Henniker home had to shoo away ghost hunters and historians trying to capture Mary's ghost for themselves. These owners put in a lot of work to debunk the tale in hopes it would dispel the trespassers to mixed results. Let me know in the comments who you would be in the Pirates crew, and like and follow for more 50 States of Folklore.